So with the router, I prepared those slots. <clears throat> and in the workbench itself, <clears throat> we have these screw-in nuts, which have an M8 thread inside. Uh, and what most people don't know is how to actually install them. It's not just a matter of drilling a hole, but you should be using a step drill. Preparing, in this case, it's an M8 in the middle, so I'm using an up to 12 millimeter step drill to prepare those holes. And then you can easily screw them in. Uh, what I've done now is created the slots with the router that the lower base plate can travel in so that when I put on the big, the, the actual carrier plate of the saw on top of this, so I can pull it back and the top plate can spin or swivel rather. Uh, because obviously, when I did it like that, then it would actually touch the lower plate here. So that doesn't work, so I need to be able to remove it so that the plate can swivel freely. Uh, what I'll do is, I'll create some an index pin, maybe here and here, so that it can positively index in this and be totally lock in place. It is pretty stable like this, especially when I fix it, but I just can't guarantee 100% exactly that it will repeatably register in the back, uh, in the back plate there. So that's what I'll do. So the next, um, the next action I need to do, so as you can see here, this is for the swivel plate. So this is where the swivel plate comes in. And now there's the next problem. So you see that normally, like this is a captain's, for a, what's called a captain's chair. So on a boat, you can actually swivel the chair uh, around. And if you have small plates like this, it's easy to see how you how, how you attach this to the wood. It's like you swivel it by 45 degrees, you put in the screws, you turn it around and you attach the other screws on the other side. On this board rather. Right? So you can see how that works. Now, how do you do that? when you have these two massive plates because I can swivel it all I like um, it won't work I won't be able to access this so if you like pause the tape and think about this for a second uh, and if you have any good ideas about that uh, just leave me leave me a remark in the comments so what I thought I'd do is I would actually screw this to the board like this, to the top board rather, fix it and then weld this screw to the captain's chair like that in the right position on the one side and then on the other side I can yeah, I can actually screw this to this and the screws will protrude like this and then I can take the top plate and just try to get it over this because this will be fixed here, this will be welded onto this. Okay, so that's the idea for now. Um, let's see how it works.